Welcome to a new edition of the channel Travel on Tech, where I'm going to show you some of the latest gadgets and technology that could help with your travels and your everyday life. Now, recently I hired a car, and I tell you what, it was all super computerized. These modern day cars have everything, don't they? Touch screens, integration with your phone, maps, the lot. But if, like me, you've got an older car, my car is six years old now, and it hasn't got all the computerized screen, and I'm not about to go and buy a new car just to get that. But luckily, Carper Ride saw my video and my excitement when I was in the hire car and said, we've got the gadget for you. And they sent me one to test out. This is the Carper Ride HD display that you can put in your car within two minutes and have a fully integrated, up-to-date car. So first of all, let's see what's in the box. So first of all, let's have a look in the box. Now it connects to Apple, it connects to Android, AirPlay, Android Cast, so it should all integrate with my phone. So let's have a little look inside. So first of all, we've got the display. Let's get that open. So there's the display. It's actually quite big and that's gonna fit on the dashboard. And inside here are some different connections and different mounts. So you've got a few different options. You've got this one, which looks like it connects to a window. You've got this one here, which has got a sticky pad. And of course, loads of cables. Now, before we start, let me show you what we've got at the moment. This is it. I've just got a stereo with a very small display. For the maps at the moment, what I've done is I've connected a magnet to the back of my phone and it sort of clips on here. I mean, it's not ideal, but it does actually work. But when I was in the hire car, I loved the fact that all the maps and everything were right here, just where I could see them and it all linked to my phone. So let's see if I can turn this old car into a modern one. Now, the only issue I can see here is my dashboard is not really flat. It has this very awkward part here. So I'm not sure if it's gonna to stick to that. So I may have to go for a window mount. Now, another great thing about this as a content creator, I do a lot of videos sort of driving around. This actually has a full on dash cam as well. So it has pretty much everything. And on the subject of cameras, we actually have another camera that connects to the back, which gives me one of those reverse options. So I can see what I'm doing when I'm reversing. Now this, I don't think I'm gonna install on my own. I think what I'm gonna do with this is take it to a garage because there's no way I'm gonna start putting cables from here all the way to the back. But I am definitely gonna get this installed at a later stage by a professional. However, it seems very simple to get the carpool ride onto that dashboard. Let's see what the best attachment's gonna be for this car. So I'm looking at attachment one here, which has sort of got a flexible base that could fit onto a flat dashboard or one that's got a little bit of curvature. Um, I don't think this is gonna fit here, if I'm honest with you. And it's very awkward that this car is like this. Um, if I had a flash dashboard, that would certainly be the one that I'd be using. Personally, I think I'm gonna have to go for this one, which has got a sucker pad that sticks to the window and an arm that sort of extends out and I'll be able to situate it sort of on the window in the middle and see exactly what I'm doing and where I'm going. So let's try first of all and get this bad boy attached to the window. So I think the best option for me is to get it on the window. Um, it doesn't say in the instructions that you put it on the window. It says it goes on the dashboard. But with my awkward dashboard, well, this is going to be the only option for me. And my advice to you is Practice before you stick it on because this pad is super, super sticky. So I'm gonna give it a few goes and see exactly what the best option is for me. I'll see you when I've decided. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've cracked it. I've got the solution. I've put it on the window and I was worried because I thought, well, the dash cam won't actually film because of the bracket. But there you go. You just pop that up. How cool is that? Right, now let's get the techie bit done and let's get it turned on and let's get it programmed. That is the fun bit. So being a male, we don't read instructions, do we? But I do recommend that you read the instructions. Now in here, it does show the brackets. It doesn't say you can connect it to the window, but I'm assuming that you can because I have no other option. So if your dashboard's not flat, then whack it on the window. That will be my advice. And when we go for a drive around, I'll see just how stable it is. So although this car is old, uh, it has actually got two 12 volt connections. So let's get that in there. Straight away, the light has come on, and then the cable is just gonna go straight up 
and it's a long cable as well straight up and in to the device so i've just took this off so i can show you the connection so you've got the power connection there which is just a normal c usb av av in and you've also got a little memory card slot for the camera to save all the recordings and you've also got a 3.5 jack there um, which i think is going to be for the rear camera if needed or some kind of volume i'm not sure so we'll have a look at that in a moment okay so the cable is quite long um, but for me i can just pop that in there and as long as you don't mind a cable running up here then you're laughing aren't you um, but like i said if you want to you could really sort of integrate it properly but that depends on you doesn't it here we go oh right let's have a look at what we've got there we are in all its glory this is looking like a modern car <laughs> right let's see what's going on here so you've literally got everything here you've got your carplay you've got your android auto airplay android cast you've got wi-fi video which i think you can connect to your phone and see the dash cam which is really really cool isn't it um, so i'm going to get into the settings and just get everything set up so this is a really good feature as well all the instructions are on screen okay so already messages are coming through so i'll get all my messages on there and you've got a number of different apps you've got your spotify you've got your maps you've got your messages um, and obviously the map here look you can have big small you can have all sorts of different sort of uh, screens to do that i think i'm going to go big screen let's have a look so there you go we've got the full-on big screen so let's go for a drive so just to give you an idea of the dash cam, it's actually 4K, which is ideal for me driving around. Now, because I've got it mounted on the window, um, which was my only option, you can see the sort of suction pad on there. But I think if I had a little fiddle around with it and sort of moved it, I could possibly deal with that. But anyway, let's go for a drive and let's see how this handles with calls and maps. Okay, quick update on where I've mounted the carpet ride and we are now 100% ready to rock and roll. Now the mount that I put on the window, well in the instructions like I said, said nothing about windows but it worked perfect for me. So I think it's an option if you haven't got that flat surface. I may be completely wrong, but it worked perfect for me. But I was a little worried that I wasn't doing things properly, especially when I'm trying to review the product as well. So I have found a solution on my dashboard. Let me show you. So there is the awkward bit that I couldn't stick it on. So there was a little flat bit at the back and because the arm is so adjustable it fit right into that small section and didn't touch the window so it's a perfect solution for me so we're saying that i think we're ready to rock and roll i think it's in the perfect location there is just one more thing to do which is completely satisfying are you ready oh look at that <laughs> Fabulous, let's go. So this is actual footage of the dash cam, which is in 4K. And it also picks up your voice and whatever you're saying. So, I mean, ideal sort of evidence or proof for any accidents that you can send to insurance companies, which is great. But also, I mean, if you are traveling around and you want to take this with you and you've hired a car, you could put this on the dashboard just to sort of capture the footage of you driving around. Um, it's a lot easier than sort of getting someone to hold a camera. And with the microphone to pick up the voice, I mean, that's not too bad, is it? It's ideal for me as a content creator, because you know that I do a lot of sort of driving around videos to show you a little bit of the island. So it's perfect. And quality, I mean, what I can see on the screen is fabulous. I don't know what the sound quality is going to be like, but we shall see in the video, shan't we? So the dash cam will actually start recording from the minute you get in the car as well. Um, so you don't have to set it to do that. It automatically starts recording. The thing is, if you see some terrible drivers, you can get some good footage of them driving terribly, can't you? <laughs> Show the world. Cyclists as well, that'll be a good one. Oh. You got some great cycling videos coming from Mr. Travelog. 
stand by for them. Let's talk about volume because I was just driving around and the volume was coming out of the actual device. Now it does say in the manual that you can connect it to your car audio device as well. So I'm gonna give that a go because I don't want it coming through the actual device. I want it actually coming through the car speakers. Now I'm not sure if all cars are gonna be compatible with that, but I think mine is, so I'm gonna give it a go. Okay then, so radio's on, carpool rides on, and let's see where it takes us. In 800 meters, turn left onto Calais Alemania. Right, we've got it cracked. <laughs> the Google lady is speaking to me. And I do believe I can get very technical now, completely hands-free and call Mrs. Travel on. Okay, Google, call Kaz. All right, calling Kaz. I really do need to rename that on my phone, Mrs. Travel on, don't I? Hello? Hello, my Hello. darling, how are you? You okay? Hello? Hello, my darling, you okay? Yeah. Uh, where Hi. are where are you, my angel? What do you want? Nothing. I'm just uh, driving around and missing you. What? I'm just driving around and missing you. Oh, I'm at Arabella's. Well, I'm not in Arabella's. I'm, I've walked just walked past it. Typical. Why? Spending money as usual. I'm just testing my new uh, car peel ride just to see if it works. Oh, okay. You know that I accidentally put you on speaker when you said, how are you, my darling? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Everybody knows that it's the truth now. Okay, so when you connect it to your car speakers... Take the next left to stay on Calais, Inglaterra, then turn left. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's turn her off. When you connect it to your car speakers, it's to the BT Audio. Now, there is a way, actually, to tune your radio in as well. Um, through the actual carpio ride. So I'm gonna have a little look at that because, because I'd like to have radio and maps on also. And there's definitely a way to do that. But if you've got things like Spotify and you like to listen to Spotify while you're driving, well, you can connect that via the carpio ride direct to your car speakers. So there's loads of different features on here and loads of different apps that you can sort of link to your phone. But to make calls, to see maps, to have that sort of computerized system in an old car, it's pretty perfect. Uh, I'm gonna test out now the Wi-Fi connection between the car and the camera, because you can connect it to your phone so you can see exactly what's going on with a dash cam. So far, the only way I can see that you can actually listen to the radio and the car pure ride at the same time is to have, for example, maps playing out of the speakers of the car pure ride, and then you can have the radio on as well. But if you wanna have Spotify on or something like that, plus the maps, well, it's all done via the app. So that's really, really handy if you like that sort of thing. To be honest, when I'm driving around with Google, I don't like it speaking to me. I have that muted anyway, so it's pretty perfect for me. So as always, the taxi service, I'm dropping this one down to the bus stop. Um, I know where the bus stop is, but, well, Google's telling me which way to go. And the plan with this car, because it's six years old, he's gonna be able to drive in two years. So I'm planning on palming it off to him before I buy a new one, which will have this fully integrated. But for you, when you get your car, or you get this car, now you're all fully integrated, look, you'll know exactly where you're going. Yeah, very useful. <laughs> so this will come in handy when your generation are meeting girls online, on Insta, in meters, at the roundabout, and they give you your address, you'll just be able to program it in, and Google will tell you how to get there. Just make sure you're on time. Top dad tips, always be on time. Continue on and Avenida there we are. de las Canarias for 800 metres. It's definitely not 800 metres, Google. We are here. Right, Bye. I'll see you later. See you later. Have a good Bye. day. Bye. So there you go. That was the carpool ride. If you've got an old car and you want all the gadgets and gizmos to go with it, well, this could be the perfect option for you. It's certainly something that I would consider buying. Uh, big thanks to Carpool Ride for sending me this to give it a go. Um, I am very, very impressed. I'm gonna put the links above and below so you know where you can buy this and get prices and things like that. But for me, it's gonna be a great help, especially when I'm out and about and trying to find different places um, because my sense of direction is just shocking. <laughs> it really is. 
So I'm gonna get back, play around with the different apps, the different settings, um, because I'm sure there's a lot more capability with this product. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was our first travel on tech video, and I hope there's more to come, because I really enjoyed learning and showing you lot some great little gadgets that are out there, because technology is getting fantastic, isn't it? Whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a great one. Thanks so much for watching the video, and thank you, Carperide, for sending me this awesome little gadget. My car will never be the same. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.